to our concert, our spring concert, Wellesley Town Band. We're going to be performing a variety of music from different genres and styles for a concert band for you. Um, I want to ask a, a favor of, um, could we bring down the house lights, please? Ah, perfect. All right, everyone. Again, welcome. We're going to start our program off with a Renaissance, uh, Renaissance uh, suite of three movements, Fanfare, Ode, and Festival. Hope you enjoy.
composition is a rhapsody of American folk songs, including familiar ones, Skip to My Blue, Billy Boy, and Shenandoah, composed by Claire Grunman, a popular American band composer, active in the 1950s and 1960s. And his music, his rhapsodies for of folk music are well known and fun to play.
uh, concert band music has only been around since the early part of the 19th century, 20th century actually. Well, 19th century, yes, Mozart really wrote some of the first all wind music of the quasi-modern era. But um, this next piece we're about to perform is a really important piece in the development of this kind of ensemble in Europe and America. Gustav Holt's first suite in E-flat for military band. It's a suite in three movements. It begins with a movement called a chacon, which is a chacon is a, a composition in which a um, melody repeats itself over and over again. It goes back to the time of the Baroque when Bach wrote a very famous chacon for solo violin. Um, the chacon melody is used for the entire suite. The second movement, the intermezzo, uses the chacon in a different sort of light dancing kind of rhythm. And the third movement is a march, which again shows a variation on the chacon melody. You will hear the chacon melody performed first by the tuba and euphonium in the very beginning. Listen for it as the suite uh, develops. It's a marvelous composition, and we hope you enjoy our rendition of Gustav Holst's first suite E flat for military band. <coughs>
my favorite pieces. Our next piece is music from Jurassic Park by John Williams, featuring all of the band playing music from that wonderful film, wonderful film score uh, that John Williams wrote many years ago. Hope you enjoy our performance of Jurassic Park.
started. And uh, it began with a phone call or a visit from Herb over on the bass drum with the beret on, the man with the beret. And uh, we decided to start a community band, well, about 11 years ago. And this is my last indoor concert with this group. And uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping that uh, the uh, wonderful spirit that this group will carry forward to my successor, who they're now in the process of choosing. For our last piece tonight, we're going to be playing an indoor concert band in March, one of my favorites, called Bandology. And uh, it's just a nice, up-tempo, happy piece for me to end my tenure with the Wellesley Town Band with, and their tenure with me. So thank you very much, and here goes Bandology. <laughs>
2013. 2013. It started in 2012, actually. Is that it? This is the Golden Parachute for doing a heck of a great job. Not done yet. Again, thank you, Henry, for all that you've devoted to our group for 11 years. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And we will miss you. So this, was, this is an update of a poem that I did the first time around at the time. It was the night before Christmas. Now it's a time before Christmas. In a time before Christmas, in the year 2013, Wellesley Middle School had a secret. Name of Henry. The guy was a music machine. And in Wellesley lived another guy. His name was Herb Glick. You wait, we're just getting started. <laughs> Herb proposed starting a town band. At the time, you guessed it, trombone was his shtick, though he later traded the bone licks for a pair of drumsticks. So in the fall of that year, Herb <laughs> and Henry <laughs> got rolling. And by Christmas 2013, the bells that's us. I'm being metaphorical here, and all poetic and stuff. So the bells, they were all atolling. Anyway, the band at that time had about 13 musicians. We played our first holiday concert, doing our best to make occasional sonorous emissions. <laughs> While ignoring various omissions, admonitions, inhibitions, premonitions, and prohibitions, not to mention juxtapositions. Henry Platt, was our mentor, our guide, our conductor extraordinaire. He found us great music and taught us to play it with flair. We've quadrupled since then, and perhaps increased our talent. Oh, the gains we have made are due to Henry's. Henry's efforts, both skilled and most gallant. You see, what you see here, well, we're on our best behavior. Oh, the gains we have made due to Henry's efforts, most <laughs> skilled and most talented. Um, so I, we're on our best behavior, though sometimes things get pretty hairy. And thanks goodness, Henry's been here as our savior. You see, the bases. skills that seemed hardwired, Henry manages this bedlam, turning it into music that's occasionally, well, inspired. So we thank you, our Henry, for touching our hearts, for making us whole, for making us more than the sum of our parts. So we wish you all the best, a retirement oh so mellow, and now it's time for a song. You guessed it, and please join us. A good fellow for these and
and I'm very excited about the future of the group, and I hope you will all attend all of their performances, as I will upcoming, especially our June 26th one, which will be outdoors behind Town Hall. And um, we're going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until then, and then I'll be off for other pastures, I should say, but not quite out to pasture, <laughs> musically speaking. But I have great, uh, great hopes and. Um, everything for the future of this wonderful band. And thank you again, everyone, for putting up with me for all these years. <laughs>